Hey, and welcome to another episode of the YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. In this episode, I'm gonna walk you through the sum up card machine um, and why I think personally, if you are a mobile service-based business in the UK, that you need to have one of these in your life going forward. Um, purely and simply with the pandemic, most people have reverted away from cash. Um, a lot of customers don't carry cash anymore. And um, also the other thing is the people that do have cash, it makes it more difficult for you to upsell your services or add on services if they don't have the cash available. Whereas if you can take a card payment, debit or credit card, um, or you know, contactless payment, Apple Pay, especially with the limit increase to 100 pounds on contactless payments, um, you, know, you, you could add on a, a, a fascia and a gutter clear um, and, and still be within a hundred pounds. So the customer can still pay contactless. So there's no, no need for, you know, can you send me a bank transfer? Have you got the cash? Let me pop to the cash machine. It just takes all that away. Um, I'm not going to do like a, an unboxing because there's loads of that kind of stuff on, on YouTube anyway. Um, and if I'm honest, I've been using this for the last three months because it was something that I decided that I wanted to use from day one. Um, because the service that I want to provide is, is to be able to help customers, um, make the process easier for them um, rather than having to worry about like I said do they have to go to the cash machine have they got enough money on them and so on um, you do get this little Toblerone uh, kind of stand so you could put this in your van if you wanted to um, I think the kind of kit is aimed at like retail units so shops and that sort of stuff so you could have this put on your till um, and they do also give you a little window sticker so you could put that potentially on the back of your van um, or obviously on your shop window. Um, I haven't used either because I prefer to have the conversation with the customer to explain to them that we do, you know, that they can pay cash um, or they can pay card, contact list, whichever option they would prefer. Um, so I, I don't actually use use that kind of stuff. But what I'm gonna do is, um, obviously the card machine itself is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You could do contactless payments up to 100 pounds. Um, if the payment's over 100 pounds, obviously the customer puts the card in and puts their pin. It's as simple as that. So this video is actually gonna be aimed at walking you through the process of using the application itself. Um, I use it on an iPhone, so it might look slightly different if you're on an Android, um, but hopefully you might be able to pick up something from it. Um, and like I said, this is not me saying, this is how you should do it. This is just me saying, this is how I do it. Um, and you having a look at the way that you do things to see if, if it works or if there's a better way. If you're interested in getting a sum up card machine reader, um, then there will be a link in, in the description um, for you to be able to go and get one. Um, now for full transparency, um, sum up do do a referral scheme where obviously if you refer someone and they use your link, you can earn some extra money. Um, I think it's 20 pounds or something like that. Um, so obviously if you do get one, then you will be helping me support the channel. Um, so I'd really appreciate it if you could use my link if you are gonna get one. Um, it doesn't cost you any more, um, and it just means that obviously we can keep spending time to put money into these videos. With that said, let's crack on, jump straight into the video now. So I'm just gonna walk you through the Sum Up app uh, to take payments. So this is the main dashboard. If you select checkout, it will take you through to be able to enter the amount that you wanna charge the customer. It will then also give you the option below that to enter a description. I always put the customer's name and address as a reference. Um, that's just something that I prefer to do. When you press the blue button that says charge, it will automatically take you to the card reader to make the payment. Okay, so here's the sum up card machine. So this is the card reader. Customer can put their card in the top here. And uh, if you're taking payments over a hundred pounds, they can enter their pin in and do it that way. If the payment is under a hundred pounds, you can do it contactless. So they can just tap their card on the uh, screen um, or they can use their Apple Pay, Google Pay, or Apple Watch, or, or whatever, uh, to make a contactless payment up to £100. So the other option that you've got is you can send a payment link to a customer. Um, so if the customer's not in, this is a, a fantastic option. Um, so you can literally select copy payment link, and what that will do is enable you to send it as an external message or WhatsApp or email. Um, so you literally just copy and paste the link in. Um, or alternatively, you can send the customer a text message directly from SumUp. So what that will do is send the customer a text with a payment link so they can make the payment online via debit or credit card. If you select the payment links option, it will show you all of the payment links that you've sent out to customers and the status. So you can see it says sent, paid, um, and revoked. 
you can also have the option to revoke a payment so if you've sent the wrong payment to a customer you can cancel that payment link um, to stop them from from making the wrong payment so you select revoked and as you'll see it changed to revoked so the other option that you've got when you're creating a payment is to have pre-saved items. Now I have a set pricing structure for gutter clearing that I have for customers. So I have the minimum charge, two bed, three bed and three bed detached. Um, the, the reason why you can do this is it just makes it easier and quicker so you haven't got to remember how much you're going to quote for a customer. Um, so you can select it and then charge it in the same way that you would. To change the variance you select manage in the top right hand corner and then you can either add an item or choose an existing one that you want to add to. So as you can see, I've got the each individual line with the pricing and variant there. Um, so on this one, I could add a four bed detached house and have a fixed price for that job for gutter clearing. Um, the reason why you do this is it just makes it easier for you to be able to charge the customer without having to think about it. Um, and with set pricing, it just gives clarity for you and the customer and also speeds up the process. So once you've done that, you literally press the blue tick in the right hand corner and that'll save it for you. So the other really cool feature you can use is to send invoices to customers and companies. Um, so quite simply select invoice, the new invoice, add the customer's details from either manually or from where you've got them saved in the system. Um, and then you can then add the item. So you can either add the item, type it in manually, um, or you can choose one of the items that you've got pre-saved um, in your item list that we just went through. So once you've done that, um, you will then be taken to the page where you can customize the email to the customer. Um, so you, obviously you put the customer's email address in and then a personalized message. Now, the other really good feature with this system is it enables you to send payment reminders to customers that haven't paid already. So if you turn that feature on, if the customer hasn't paid the invoice within the terms that you've set, it will automatically send a payment email one day, three days and seven days after the due date of the invoice. So it's chasing up automatically for you. The other feature that you can do is add a photo um, or a file to the invoice email again maybe you want to use that as confirmation of the job that you've done. Once you've sent it, it will then sit in your unpaid invoices until the customer's made payment. If you want to get yourself a sum up machine, there is a link in the description. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Please remember to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell. If you've got any comments or questions, please drop it in the section below.